Crafty Room friends, welcome to the Crafty Room. My name is Dee and thanks so much for stopping by today to watch me open this. this is our sixth advent calendar on our advent calendar a week down to Christmas. A little event here that we have in the Crafty Room. And yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited about all of them and sometimes they disappoint. Let's just, let's just be real here. Sometimes they've disappointed me. Now I do have a playlist that has advent calendars as the title. If you have uh, an interest in watching the other ones I've already opened, go check that out because it's, 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 it's a mixed bag. Some are really cool and some are questionable. So here we have uh, one that I found on Amazon. I'll put the little, um, a picture of the uh, listing on Amazon where I got it from here in Canada. Now we definitely have a Christmas scene, uh, Christmas scene or theme here. Uh, it says Merry Christmas. We have lots of lovely little nature style animals. We have a fox, we have snowmen, not an animal, but we have penguins, we have a bear, and I don't know what you are, but you're cute. Um, so, so adorable. Now this, is kind of interesting because to me it looks like it's a Christmas card. So what you could do is fold it. Is that how it is? Or is it the other way? I don't know. I would think it's only weird because it opens this way if you do it that way. But it's the same if you do it the other way. Okay. But it's still very... Oh, here. Okay. Maybe like that? Yeah, that would be it. Okay. Why did that take a minute for me to figure out? I don't know. But how cute is this? So you can make this into a beautiful Christmas card that you can give to someone and it has space for you to write uh, a nice message to them for the holidays. Very, very cute. That's actually a nice touch. Now, that aside, this calendar, I'll let you know what I know about it. And it is basically, um, it says advent calendar here. It goes all the way to 24. I wish it went to 25. Like. I really think all of them should, but it goes to 24. Now, in the listing, it said that they were little plush animals in here. So, um, guessing as well with the theme that we have on the front here with penguins and that, that maybe those are the kind of animals we will be seeing. Uh, you can see here, oh look, that's a squirrel. That was a squirrel on the, on the front here, I think. Anyways, yeah, so we have, like again penguins we have a tiger here a little chick reindeer bear a little squirrel oh i hope i get a squirrel squirrels are so much my favorite one of my favorite animals so cute um yes so i'm really interested and i'm praying pray with me that this is gonna be a good one and not a dud but even <laughs> if it's a dud oh well you know it'll just give us a laugh or hopefully so anyway so let's just go and start with day number one and see what we get now I love the fact that they have this little push tab thing so that you can put your thumb in and lift the door open because the ones that have nothing like this that makes it hard for you at least for me so what do we have day one we have oh oh my god it is a little plushy oh my gosh hope you're good quality come out come out Oh, I'm gonna zoom down a little bit. Here we go, so we can see a little bit better together. Oh, so cute. Are you a little doggy? You are a little doggy. Oh, and it comes, you know what? I was, an ornament. That's what I get out of this. This you could hang on your tree. Or if you have a little, like, little other tree that you might wanna hang it on or your main tree or if you don't do trees then you could just obviously you could even cut this off if you didn't want it there but you have that option which is super cute so this little doggy the ears are glued down but he has a nice little hard nose beautiful oh, sorry to poke you in the eye but nice hard plastic eyes a cute little um oh i forget the kind of uh, material uh they they call this but almost like a tool i guess a ribbon or bow around his little neck Oh, he's cute. Okay, well, if they're all going to be like that, this is going to be a hit. <laughs> Let's pray. <laughs> okay, push that in and on to door number two. And thank gosh, they are in order. Oh, that makes it much easier too. Sometimes I don't mind a treasure hunt, but I don't know. Sometimes I can get a little too crazy. So 
Door number two. Oh, what do we have? What do we have here? Oh, I don't know what you are. Are you like a kangaroo or something? No, no. Or, well, I don't know. Again, you have the bow like the dog. But what are you? You almost look like an anteater or something. But they're soft. I forgot to mention that. They are very soft. Um, yes, very squishy, very adorable, very huggable. I, I love that. But I don't know what you are. I, I'm going to say kangaroo. I don't see a pouch or anything. Because uh, I don't think they would have an anteater in here. That makes no sense. But very cute, very soft, very squishy and adorable. We'll set you over there with your friend. And we'll move on to day three. Oh, I'm so excited. They're actually little cute plushies. Oh, look what we get here in day three. It looks like a little chick. Oh, and it is. <laughs> oh, very cute. And look, it has the little tuft here on the top little free okay oh no both it's oh no we have a bit of a rip people oh well I don't mind sewing that but that's still a little unfortunate but nonetheless very cute an easy fix I guess it's not the greatest quality I'm seeing on this one but you know it can happen I still think it's really really cute I don't believe the price was so much um, anyways I can't remember offhand but uh, you would have seen it in the description there Oh, or not the description, but I mean uh, the little listing I would have put up for you. Uh, so cute though. It's a little bummer about the rip, but <clears throat> you know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cosmo's upset. <laughs> Excuse me one second while I figure out who he's yelling. All right, I'm back. For those of you who have watched my videos in the past where Cosmo has interrupted, it's always the usual thing. He's barking at something in the neighborhood that he doesn't like, be it someone or something. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath a little bit. <laughs> I ran upstairs to get back to film, but then I stopped and had to hug my dog because he's like a real life plush, but with attitude. Okay, so let me catch my breath and we are going to proceed with door number four. Come on. Who do we get here? Ooh, blue. <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> this looks like it could be almost like a little hippo. Oh, so cute. Let's see, are you ripped? Okay, so you can see kind of where the head and body are stitched. It's not the greatest quality. So those of you who are okay with stitching something, that's an easy fix. If you're not, then you can use some fabric glue or something like that to fix that up, no problem as well. Though, I know, when you buy something, you shouldn't have to do those kinds of things, but at least it's salvageable, so you can save it. Very cute, pink little ears, light blue body, squishy, pink little nose, nostrils, I mean, <laughs> and very, very cute. Put you with your friends, and we're gonna scoot on over to door number five. Oh, who are you? This is fun, even if they are a little bit. Oh gosh, Cosmo, I swear if you bark again. Okay, let's just take this guy out. Oh, it's a bunny! Very cute. Oh, he's gonna drive me nuts, isn't he? This bunny is nice and brown. Just, <laughs> oh my gosh, one more minute. So, yeah. Apparently they're doing uh, work uh, next door uh, on the house, like outside. They're building a very nice little addition sunroom type of uh, space for themselves. And that's awesome, but it's making Cosmo crazy because he hears every little noise and he will bark at it. So I do apologize for that again. And hopefully we can get through the rest of this calendar without interruption. But I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> um, yeah, so cute little brown bunny, nice and soft, purple bow, and we'll put him with his little friends. And let's move to door number six. Did we do the, yeah, that was fine. Okay, make sure I'm on track here. Okay. Oh, this one's not easy to open. Okay, here we go. Ooh, a pink one. Okay, so here we have a pink bear with a brown nose. Let's see. Quality, a little bit of a loose thread here. That's 
that's cute. Again, another cute little addition to hang on your tree. Nice pink and soft. And let's go to door number seven. They're cute. <laughs> we got an elephant, no way. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm gonna put my hand here so you can see, otherwise it will blend in. Oh wow, with pink on the inside of the ears. Very different kind of trunk, but I'll take it. Cute, very cute. Aww, one of my daughter's favorite little animals. Well, not that real elephants are little, but you know, that one is. Okay, door number eight. Who do we have? Okay, we have, is this a reindeer or? Yes, I think this is supposed to be a reindeer. Well, you're a grumpy looking little reindeer, I have to say, which is kind of weird. Almost has like a monkey kind of face to it to me. But we have little felt antlers, a red bow on this guy cute nonetheless and another little addition to the tree if you will door number nine Ooh, are you a frog oh my goodness you are that's cute very very cute we have a little plush frog he has a red little mouth a yellow belly and under uh, like a chin Oh, very cute. Love that. All right, on to door number 10. I can hear them sawing next door. If that Cosmo hears it, he will yell. So let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Oh, look, we have a different kind of chick. This one's a fuzzy chick. That's interesting. Okay, I'm not sure why we would have two of them and one fuzzy with little floppy legs, but I kind of like it still because it's different enough, right? <laughs> so, so soft. Very interesting. All right, let's put you to the side and move on to door 11. Okay, oh my goodness, now we're getting like fuzzy versions. Is this supposed to be like a, um, is this supposed to be like a fuzzy... No, I'm not sure. Is this a fuzzy elephant? I have no idea what's going on here. Are you supposed to be wearing a sweater? Is this a little sweater? I don't know. But it's cute. It's really soft. Now I'm questioning, like, what animals are these? I said the other one was an elephant, but now I don't know. Are you an elephant too? Let me know what you think. I have no idea. Cute though. Alright, let's just keep going. Door number 12. We have this one, I'm safe to say it is a little bear. Very cute color, like an ivory or a really light, soft beige color. Cute, put you to the side. 13. Another bear, it looks like. All right, but this one has a blue bow and it is a brown color. Still very cute, but nothing too fancy. Door, where are we? Is this door 14? Wait, that was 13. 14 seems to be, oh yeah, okay, here. I don't know why that was hard to see. Okay, we're just, this is ripping very oddly, but here we are. Oh my goodness, a cow, I adore cows. That's so cute. Has yellow little horns. This definitely is a cow. I can at least say that confidently. Brown with white. Aww, that's adorable. I like him or her. Cows are females actually, so her. <laughs> Very cute. Door number 15. What do we have? We have, okay, the nose is kind of coming off, but we have a gray little bear. Very cute. Very, very cute, soft, little squished in the face here, if you can see, but uh, maybe that will kind of remedy itself in time. Its nose is the only one that's like that so far, where it's a big plastic nose, but it does kind of seem like it's wanting to come off. So, but you know, still very cute. 16, what do we have? 
I have another fuzzy one. This is a fuzzy bear. <laughs> I don't know. Are these sweaters? These are the weirdest little sweaters. I don't know what to make of it, but it, you know, nonetheless, for some strange reason, it's still very, very cute. I like it with the floppy legs. I mean, hey, it's variety, right? Now we are moving on to door number 17. Is that right? 17? I don't know anymore. Um, yes. Okay. Door number 17. We have a pink bunny with a purple bow and another hard plastic nose, which seems to be on a little bit better. This one's really, really sweet. A nice pink bunny, light pink ears on the inside. I like this one. Very cute. Okay, now we're ready for door number 18. I'm surprised Cosmo hasn't started barking again. Ooh, look what we have here. Like a little cheetah style. This is cute, has little whiskers. Okay, okay, you're different. I like you. You're fun. That's awesome, look at these spots with the light blue. That is a fun one, really cute. Wow, okay, so far that's almost one of my favorites. Let me know if you have a favorite when we're done. Leave a comment down below as to who is your favorite or which one's your favorite. Door 19, okay. What do we have here? Another bunny, this one's gray. Oh my goodness, my display stand is almost full. Look at this one with a light blue bow. Very cute. Let's try to squish you on top. Move you over there. All right, we're getting to the nitty gritty. We are on door 20. Oh, that was, what do we have going on here? Let's move you up like that. Okay, this should work. Door 20. Oh, are you another cow? No, you're a, like a donkey in my opinion. Because look at the floppy ears. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'll take it as like a little Eeyore style donkey. Very cute. Oh, <laughs> silly. Very different. Very different uh, style of some of these animals. Door 21 is... We have a lion, I think. Ooh, we do. Look at this one. It has a nice fluffy mane. Very good. Oh, he's cute. Love that. Nice and soft. Again, we have whiskers like our cheetah. I like this guy too. Where's his ear though? Okay. It's in there. Where is it though? Like we have this one here and then this one is sewn kind of weird. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Is that backwards? Oh no, there it is. Okay, it was just, it's still a little wonky. Um, we're just gonna, oh, that's unfortunate. I really want to like something and then it goes wrong because look at that does not look right. So that was a little bit of a sewing hazard, but uh, not hazard, but error. But still, I like him. I mean, look at the size of that nose. That is adorable put him over there. We are down to the last three. We have door 22. Let's see what we have. Okay, who are you? I don't know what you are. It's interesting. It has almost like a pink little face. Hard no. I don't know what this is. This another style bear? Oh, I really don't know. Cute, but I am confused as to what animal that's supposed to be. Or is that supposed to be like a monkey? Maybe a monkey. Well, door 23. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, it's starting to get really hard to open. Oh no, is this a giraffe? It is. I don't know why, even though I know they're not the best quality, but I'm still loving them. Look at these things. It's a giraffe. Oh, what's going on here with the felt? Okay, we got an extra piece of felt there. We could just remove, okay. So cute, look at that. I like him, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I don't know, I like him. I know there's flaws with these guys, but so cute, nonetheless. 
I really do like them. I mean, it's a giraffe. Did not expect that. Okay, I'm running out of room here. Thank goodness we only have one more day. Day 24. Is it very Christmassy? Would it be another reindeer, do you think? It would have been interesting if they left the reindeer for 24. But uh, we'll see. No, we have a tiger. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Aww. Aww, little whiskers again. So soft, nice little uh, tiger pattern. Very, very cute. Oh, this one's really soft. That's awesome. I really love that. Okay, let's see if I can find the space or spot here for him. I did. All right, so let's take a, us ourselves. We can't speak anymore. Let's take a look at these guys on the stand. I'm going to try to take you down without shaking you too much. Join me looking at all our 24 plushies. Aren't they adorable? I mean, look at that. Again, I know they have flaws. They're not the greatest quality. I know, but I'm still in love with them. There's something kind of like, you know, weirdly, you know, great about them. Like, sometimes you like the underdog, you know, if you will, and things. And these ones are kind of a little more on the, oh, I don't know, derpier side of things. But in a way, that's kind of their charm. <laughs> At least to me. What do you think? Did you like these guys? Did you think it was worth the money? Now that I'm not sure because again, I don't, don't recall the price offhand, but um, I think they were in like around twenty dollars. I'm not 100 percent sure. Canadian, and yeah. So uh, if I was to pick a favorite, I couldn't. I don't think I could. That's tough. That is really tough. Um, I kind of would have to say this cheetah, just because the coloring is so cool. But they're all really, really cute. Let me know again if you have a favorite down below. Um, and this is the uh, calendar of the, the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care of yourself and others. Stay crafty, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.